We uncovered a drop in patient levels at two local children's hospitals. Now that drop is going to mean layoffs for the local nurses. New at 10, 5 Witness News reporter Tim Cherno is live outside of Children's Hospital in St. Paul with what he found. Tim? Layoffs are always a hot topic, and both sides have their reasons, and both sides point to numbers that support their reasons. What we do know today at the end of the day from talking to both groups is that layoffs seem to be coming, but that's about the only thing they can agree on. We were told about internal communications that say laid off nurses from both Minneapolis and St. Paul Children's Hospitals will be notified by March 16th, and those layoffs will take effect a month later on April 16th. Nurses are upset. They showed us a petition from this weekend calling for the hospital to address staffing shortfalls. The hospital agrees it was a busy weekend, but that any layoffs would address larger trends, saying between 2009 and 2010, they experienced a 10% drop in volume and that 2010 had the lowest birth rate in 100 years with no turnaround on the horizon. Too Linda Hamilton is a nurse and president of the union. They can manage those times when the census is down, but we can't manage the time when the census is too high. Those children deserve our care. And I'm a nurse. Well, the hospital did confirm that it has had talks with the union about the layoffs, but no other details on that. Now, I've heard that the equivalent of 57 full-time positions would be lost to these layoffs, although that hasn't been confirmed. The hospital did tell me, though, late this evening that that number, if it does happen, could be less, but it also could be more. Live in St. Paul, Tim Cherno, 5 Eyewitness News.